Recording in progress. Okay, so um, today we have a chair. We have some weights. Um, this is kind of a yesterday in the class before this. What is it, 142? This will be 143. Um, we focused on activating the back of the body. And today we are going, it's going to be a little bit of a glute focused situation. Um, and um, for those of you that are watching this in replay, um, it's kind of nice to take, I think, the first class before this. You don't absolutely don't need to, but um, just to create that awareness of activating the muscles in the back of the body. Okay. Um, as always, listen to your body. You're the smartest. You are the smartest. If something is going, going on with your body, you know it. You already know it. So either get some help or do another exercise if there's one that's just not right for you because you know um, what you should and shouldn't do sometimes. Okay, let's make some magic here. We're going to start with uh, the, the chair. We're going to start with the chair and no weights just yet. I have my sneakers on because I often just like to wear them when I'm picking up some extra weight. For me, it feels good for my feet, um, but you can always go without shoes if you want to. All right. So I just want to um, stretch out the legs just a little bit and wake up the muscles in the feet and the ankles. I'm going to bring my hands to my chair and I'm going to wrap my hands around the sides or just keep them right on top. Whatever kind of chair you have, however your hands are more comfortable, um, just move them around and figure that out. And I'm going to set my feet back. So it's kind of like a standing down dog. Um, and those of you with tighter muscles all up in your legs, your calves, you're going to feel this immediately. So let's ease in here by bending the knees and sticking the tush out behind and kind of stretching the sits bones to the wall behind you. And then you can kind of straighten the legs just a little bit. You may have to um, shift your weight forward as you straighten your legs if your legs are tight. Soften your knees and stick your booty out and find even more length through the back of the body and then straighten the legs and shift forward a little bit. This is kind of a nice way to wake up the muscles in the shoulders too. Um, soften the knees, send the hips back. Let your head hang down a little bit. This is a huge release and stretch for the spine. And then straighten the legs and shift forward a little bit. We're just gonna do this one more time. You are breathing. Relax your head and then come forward. And now I'm gonna walk the feet forward a little bit more. Widen your feet so that they're now wider than your mat. Mine are off my mat to the right and the left. And I'm gonna come down on to my forearms. You can either keep your arms straight or lower down like I did. And I'm gonna full on rest my head on the chair. Shift the hips over to the right. This is a big stretch for the muscles in the fascia. Um, for the upper inner thigh that connect up into the pelvis and the hips. That's where I feel it at least. So um, that's where I feel it on the left. And now I'm going to shift my hips over to the left. And now I feel that deeper stretch on the right side. Just take a nice deep breath. And one more each way. Shift to the right. Bookmark this in your brain if this feels great and you just thought to yourself, Gosh, I should do this more often. And then shift over to the left. All you need is a chair and about three minutes of your time. Come back to the center. Slowly walk your hands back up again. Step your feet in. I'm going to step my left leg forward and my right leg back. And I'm going to bend my left knee. Um, and I'm just going to keep my arms straight at this first part. Lift the back heel, shift your weight forward a bit more so your weight is in your hands and your front leg. And then shift back into the back heel. Walk up to your fingertips. Plant your feet into the ground and then reach the arms all the way up, pressing your hips forward just a little bit and then come on back down. We're going to do that again. Shift your weight forward, lift your back heel, lower your back heel, that's a big stretch for me. Walk up to your fingertips, plant into both feet, bring your arms up, 
if that feels like a safe thing to do. I'm kind of pressing my right hip forward the best I can. We're gonna do this two more times. Arms down, shift forward, lift the back heel, roll it back, come to the fingertips, plant your feet, reach up, and one more time. Hands down, shift forward, lift the back heel, lower the back heel, plant your feet down, come to the fingertips, and reach up. And then bring the arms up to the sides, shoulders down. Lift your back heel and bend your back knee. We're going to come about halfway down. And this is going to be our first little awareness of turning on the booty. It's your right booty. If you've got your right leg back, we are going to straighten the back leg and give your back tush a squeeze, your right tush a squeeze. Bend the right knee. I don't feel the glute as much here. But when I straighten the back leg, you can give the back tush, your right tush, the back tush. The right tush, a squeeze. Let's do this four more times. Bend, squeeze the right butt. Bend, squeeze the right butt. Bend, and squeeze the right butt. And then bring the arms down and step forward, okay? Side two. We're stepping the left leg back, right knee forward. This is a heel calf Achilles stretch right here, right? Front knee is bent. Now lift the back heel and then lower it down. Plant your feet down, come to your fingertips and then drive the feet down and bring your arms up. Lift the chest, take a breath and then come back again. Lean forward into the hands, lift the back heel. Your weight is in your front leg a bit. And then lower the back heel. Come back to your fingertips, start to lift the chest. Drive the feet down, lift the arms up, press your left hip forward, breathe. Come back again. Shift forward, lift that back heel. Stretch out the toes a little bit by putting, keeping some of the weight into the left foot. Roll back through the left foot to the heel. Plant your feet down, come to your fingertips. Lift the arms, press that left hip forward. Take a big old breath. Come all the way down. And one more time. Lift that back heel, straight arms. You can keep your chest lifted and energized as you move through this. And then lower the back heel, plant your both feet into the ground. We're keeping that front knee soft this whole time. Arms up. One more breath. And then bring the arms out to the sides. Lift the back heel. Bend the back knee. All right, so here's the activation of your left tushy. Keep the, butt, the knee bent, take a breath, and now straighten the back leg and squeeze your booty. Bend the knee, come down. Straighten the back leg, squeeze that tush. Four more. Bend and straighten. And three, and straighten, and two, and straighten, one more. Squeeze the left tush on the way up, and then hands down, and step forward. Soften your knees, let the up, you can keep your hands on the sides of the chairs, just let your upper body hang for a second. Relax your head, big old inhale, exhale. Soften the knees, push down through your feet and let's roll up, roll up, and roll up. Okay, good, come on up to stand. So now I'm gonna turn my chair around um, I hope you guys, I think you can see me. You're all frozen. I get nervous. No, okay, Carol, you're just standing there waiting. Turn your chair around. 
She's like, I'm not frozen. I'm just waiting. Hi, Rebecca. Okay, hands to the back of the chair. We're still gonna be working that back body tushy area. I'm gonna keep my fingertips um, on the back of the chair and I'm gonna stand at a comfortable distance. You'll adjust to figure out how far you need to go. I probably don't need this shapes situation. Okay, soften your knees. Rest your hands on the chair. I'm gonna keep my left knee and my left leg underneath me and then the right leg goes back. I'm gonna shift my weight into that left leg. Upper body moves forward as the back leg lifts up. So let's just um, pretend like the goal is to bring the back leg with your upper body in a straight line. And I'm hoping you already feel the activation of your right tush. Keep that left knee soft. Lower and come on back up. We're gonna try this again. Shift forward and lift your back leg. Maybe flex the foot, energize your spine. Try not to let this right hip be up in the air, but kind of in line with the left hip the best you can. And then lower the leg and come on back up. One more time like this. Shift forward, lift that back leg. I'm gonna flex the back foot. I'm gonna keep my upper body where it is. Lower top the right foot to the ground. Reach up with the heel, the leg is straight, eight more. Tap up, seven, up, six. The cool thing is that you're working the legs at the same time. They're doing different things, of course, but both the legs are, are activated. They should feel that way right now. Last three, and two. Hold here, little pulse, eight, seven, six. Keep finding the glute, five, four, Three, two, one, come back, and all the way up. Just for a moment, toes facing forward, stand tall, reach the arms all the way up, hook your thumbs, drop your chin, big old side reach, and other side reach. One more each way, stretch. Okay, let's find the other glute, hands back to your chair, Soften the right knee, <clears throat> step the left leg back. As you pick up the leg, the upper body comes forward. I'm keeping my right knee soft, and I'm kind of pushing up into gravity, my left heel and my chest. So the whole back of the body is activated, and then the leg goes down, chest comes up at the same time. We're breathing, let's try that two more times. Lift, reach the crown of the head and the heel in two different directions. And come back. And again. Right knee is soft. Lengthen out. And come back. This next time we're going to hold. Shift and lift. So now I'm keeping the upper body where it is. Lifting up with the heel. Just the left leg lower straight down. And up. And we're finding that glute each time. And seven. Six, five, four, three, two, lift and hold, little pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, woo, all the way up, come on back. Stand nice and tall, arms to the sides, lift the chest, take a breath, shoulders down. Rotate right, exhale. Inhale, center. Rotate left. Inhale, center. Rotate right. Inhale, center. Last one, rotate left. Inhale, center. And lower back down. Quick little ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder. Okay, the next little bit is uh, we're going to do a little bit more leg stuff and intertwine it with some arm stuff. I'm going to come back around facing the chair this way. Hopefully it's not hard for you to whip your chair around. I'm going to grab the fives and use them both for the leg move and the arms. The arms. Um, so I'm going to grab both of my fives, and for this first part, rest them on the chair. 
um, so they're easy to grab once you get into the position, all right? Similarly to the way we just were, arms are gonna come um, back to the chair, soften your knees, make a table with your back. Make a table with your back. In fact, shift your weight into your feet for a moment. Let's first be round. And then the arch. One more each way. Round. And arch. Okay, somewhere in the middle is neutral. I'm going to shift my left hand forward and bring my feet together and I'm keeping my knees soft. I'm grabbing my right weight and giving it to my right leg and then I'm coming back to create structure with my arms. This weight is going to stay right where it is and I'm going to bring the leg up. I'm just going to pause here for a minute. You're giving your weight a bit of a squeeze here. This right hip can lift up a little bit and then lower back down and see if you can get your hips aligned with one another and keep it there. Back, your right leg is gonna pulse up here. Energize your spine. Eight, seven, take some of the weight out of your hands. Shift your weight back a little bit and lift your chest so you're not only in this crazy arm position. It should be way more about the legs. Six more here. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now don't let go of this weight. Come all the way down so the knee is under the hip. Make sure that right hip is in line with the left. Go back up. Breathe. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Four more. And up. And three. And up. And two. And up. Last one, friends. And up. Carefully come down. Shift your weight so you can grab that five pound weight and then come on up to stand. Okay, so I hope you agree with me. We are doing work with both legs. It's not just the right side. That's one of the reasons why I like this series. Love, hate, I should say. Okay, let's do that left leg before we do an arm set. Soften your knees again, find your position. Come slightly center with your right arm and bring your feet together. Left weight is gonna come behind the left leg. Um, and let's practice lifting the hip up. It's almost like you're lifting your whole leg and your booty up. Lower it down so it feels like your hips are even-ish. And then from there, leg comes up. Little pulse, soften your right knee. Up, two. Okay, so let's get the weight out of our wrists. Shift your weight into your legs the best you can. And seven, six, five, four, right knee is soft, three, two, full range of motion, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, or de up, eight, seven, Isn't this fun? Four, three, two, one more. Lower down, grab that weight. Ooh, let's just give the boot a little stretch. Step your uh, legs back and then shift into your right leg, bending your left knee and then shift into your left leg, bending your right knee. Bend the left, straighten the right, move the hips a little, and then back, one more. Good. Step forward, soften the knees, come all the way up to stand, okay? I'm gonna grab these weights, um, and I'm gonna come forward just a little bit onto the 
floor instead of the mat and stand nice and tall. So we went through some of this yesterday. Pull your head back so it feels like you're activating the upper uh, back and the muscles in the neck. And then the arms are going to come straight up to the sides and then out in front. And as you move, you're pretending like your back is against the wall. And the leg muscles are alert because we just use them both in dynamic ways. Big old breath. Five. And five. And four. Try and keep your breathing lateral instead of breathing into your shoulders. Take those big belly breaths. Two more. And two. And one. And one. All the way down. Ear to shoulder. Look down. Ear to shoulder. Come on back. Okay. Now I'm going to um, hold my weights for a second. Turn the chair around again. And I'm going to put my weights back down on my chair. Okay. Um, so more excitement is coming. I'm going to fingertips to the back of the chair again. P.S. along the way, if you don't want to use your chair, it's entirely up to you. Walking the feet back again, softening the knees. So we did this earlier. Right leg back. You'll be doing this whole thing. Um, I'm going to probably alternate between keeping my fingertips here and maybe lowering them to the back of the chair. So if you see me do that, it's just because I'm trying to, you know, make it comfortable. Okay, so you can do the same. Bring the right leg back. Lean forward, bring the leg up. The right leg is going to come like inside, like it wants to come all the way to the left on the left side of the mat, back up and out to the right side of the mat and back up. Inside tap, lift, outside tap, lift, inside tap, lift, outside tap, lift. Five more. Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, and one. All the way down. Soften your knees. Come up to stand. Take a breath. We got to do the other side. Please let me know if you do not feel the backs of the legs during and after this class. We will meet privately and I'd love to help you find ways to make that happen, okay? Let's bring the left leg up. So, energy through the spine. Left leg is going to come all the way to the right and then up, all the way to the left and up. Right, left, right, left. I'm trying not to keep a ton of weight into my hands. Okay, there is of course some. You can always airplane your arms here to provide a ton of balance workout and back extensor workout. And lift three more. Three, three, two, two, one, and one, Woo! all the way up. Okay, grab your weights again. We haven't done any squats yet, my friends. I'm gonna put my heels on the edge of my mat and face forward, toes forward. Um, so this is gonna be a squat arm extension toward the ceiling. I'm gonna keep my arms by my sides as I take my squat. Use your chair if you want to behind you to create a better environment for alignment. Sit back, peek at your knees, hopefully they're over your feet. Push down through the heels, stretch the arms up. Inhale. Now that the legs are awake, give that tissue a squeeze as you come up. And six more. And five. And four. And three. And two. And one. Let's go about halfway and pause. 
Keeping the arms straight. Look forward, shoulders into your back, arms up. Eight, seven, six. Shift your weight into your heels. Five, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come all the way up to stand. Arms up, bend and reach. We're just gonna go out to the sides, inhale, press up. Push your feet down when you reach your hands up. Energize. Belly button is in. Six more. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more. All the way down, roll the shoulders, take a nice deep breath. We're coming back into this like little mini squat position. Soften your knees, send your hips back, weight into your heels, straight up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, straight arms, two, lift and hold, little pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All the way up. Stand nice and tall. Ear to left shoulder. Look to the floor. Ear to right shoulder. And stand tall. Okay? One more little thing standing here. Um, I'm going to hold on to my fives for this bit. Uh, so this little, just a little balance. Bicep curl, arms forward, left leg, right arm, up, down, and switch. Find a nice little flow here. Just like we did yesterday, imagine there's a wall. Keep going. Imagine there's a wall. You don't have to do this, but imagine there's a wall behind you that you have to stay up against. It's kind of awkward to do against the wall, but... Nice to imagine. Four more sets. Four. Four. Three. Three. Two. Two. One. And one. Come all the way down. Um, before we lie down, arms forward. Lift your chest. Tap. Open the chest. Belly is in. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. All the way down. Okay, we're going to take these weights with us. And we're still going to use our chair too. Just put them down next to your dominant arm on the mat. And also I'm going to grab my eights here. And put them right next to me. Actually, I'm going to grab my tens too. You never know. You never know. I may use them. Okay. And I'm going to turn my chair around. Quick little sip. We're lying down on our backs. Down on our backs. Ready? Come on down. I'm gonna rest my legs right onto the chair. Um, okay, so just a quick little spine check in when you get down there. Uh, my feet are not all the way to the back of the chair. I'm going to bring my knees forward so they're kind of right over my hips, which it kind of looks and feels like they are. So just check in on your end. Um, and I'm going to move the pelvis around a little bit into a slight tuck and then a slight arch. And we're going to add a breath, tuck, exhale, 
Inhale, arch. Tuck, exhale. Inhale, arch. Two more. One more. And then inhale. Come neutral. Let's keep the knees right over um, the hips. And I'm going to bring my knees and my feet together. All right, so the legs feel kind of active. Make a change on your end if this feels like stressful. I like the energy that I feel. I'm going to keep them there. I'm going to roll to the side and grab my eights. One and two. And then come back and find that position. Arms right by the ribs. Elbows right by the ribs. Quick wrist check-in. Some people, when they hold their weight, they kind of like die in the wrist a little bit. So energize your wrists, like almost like you want to reach your knuckles to the ceiling. Um, inhale, stay where you are. Exhale, reach up. Inhale down. Exhale, reach. Keep going here. Continue to find your neutral spine. Neck is long. Shoulders are in that good place. Exhale, reach up. Keep the wrists energized. We're going to do six more, a little faster. Six, five, four, three, two. Hold one arm at a time, elbow down, and switch. Switch, switch, switch. Six more. Six, and five, four. Three, two, one, and both arms up, hold, weights together on a flat end, if you have a flat end. Please don't drop a weight on your face today. Exhale, bring the legs a little closer and lift the knees, tap gently the weights to the knees. Inhale, lower, tap, small range of motion. Exhale. We just did that little tuck arch thing. It's a little teeny tuck to get there. Small. Eight more. Please don't hurt your, knee, your knees with your weights. And if it's better to tap your wrists to your knees, maybe that's a safer thing. And five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay. Elbows down, put your feet on the outsides of your chair, uh, just on the outside, and push down. Bring the weights down by your sides and just hold on to them. Lengthen your neck, inhale. Exhale, push down through your feet and lift the tush. Um, we are not articulating through this set of hip lifts. This is a nice, long, straight spine as you lift and lower. And let's do eight more. Push through the heels. Seven more. And six. Knees stay over the feet. Five. You can gently squeeze the legs of the chair to help keep that structure. Four. Three. Two. One. Lower halfway down and pause. Put your, keep your weight in your heels. Bring your weights right to your hips, small little pulse up. Now you've got some extra weight. Push through your heels. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down and tip the, put the weights down for a second. Take breaths, inhale, exhale. Okay, um, sorry, my weights are in the way here. We're going to be bringing the elbows out to the sides like this, um, in line with your shoulders, straight out. Again, push down through the feet, find your neutral spine, exhale, arms up, just tap, inhale back out. Take your time on the way down to resist the weights. Six more, six, and five, four, three, two, one at a time, one up and switch. 
As you are moving through this one arm extension, keep your pelvis nice and still. Five more, four, three, two, one, and one, all the way down. Bring your weights to your hips. Make sure your feet aren't too far from you. Push down through the heels, squeeze the chair a little bit, and straight up and down. Straight up and down. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All the way down. Arms. Come back out one more time to the side. Take a nice deep breath. Straight up. Hold here. Um, we're going to bring the legs back up to the chair. Heels this time right to the edge. Right to the edge, okay? Inhale here. Exhale, legs come off the chair. Straighten up towards the ceiling the best you can. Um, there is a slight little tuck lift of the tail at the top. And then go back down. So two things are happening. You're getting some length at the back of the legs. You're also using the um, low belly. If you need to dive into your knees in order to feel the abdominals a bit more, do that. Eight more. And seven. And six. Five. Straight arms, four, three, two, last one. Ooh, come all the way down. Okay, I'm gonna switch out my eights for my tens. It seems like I am using them. We're gonna do a little bit more arm stuff, um, a bit more of the stuff we have already done. Carefully bring your weights back. Your new weights or the whichever ones you're using. Um, we're coming back here, heels resting right on the edge, knees together, feet together, arms close by, neutral long spine, belly button is in. Take a nice deep breath, straight up to the ceiling. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one at a time. Hold here, one down, other one stays. Switch, switch, hips are still. Switch, switch, five more. Five, four, three, two, one, and one, all the way down, and all the way down. Take a nice deep breath. Feet come back. Heels are relatively close to your tush. Keep the weights where they're at. Long neck, hips up. Lower down, eight more. And seven, up. Tush, give that tush a little squeeze. Push through the heels. Five more, five. And four, three, two, Lower halfway pause. You may choose to carefully put your weights on your hips. Little pulse up, push through the heels. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more for good luck. Woo, all the way down. Arms of the way down. Take a nice deep breath. Legs are coming back up. I'm just going to relax my legs there. Bring these weights up, elbows wide, eyes to the ceiling, neutral spine. Reach up, wide elbows to come down. Reach, take your time on the way down and energy on the way up. Eight more, eight, and seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. 
two, hold one at a time and switch. Can you keep your pelvis and your knees nice and still? It's not so easy. Reach up, six more. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and one. Ooh, all the way down, all the way down. Okay, I'm gonna leave my weights right to the sides carefully. If you're twisting and moving weights, please be careful. Um, and then I'm gonna roll to the side and come on up to sit. All right, let's move the chair out of the way. We're not doing anything fancy with the chair right now. We're gonna do a little bit of hands and knees work. Um, <clears throat> okay, so make sure your mat is organized. Come on to your hands and knees for a moment. Let's just give the arms a little bit of a stretch. You can hook your thumbs behind you and reach your fingertips back. If being like this, like I am, is uncomfortable, you can just come up onto your knees like this. That's fine, okay? Um, hold here for a second. Fingers to the ground. Look down. Take a breath. Okay. Um, I am going to take my eights. I'll show you where I'm going and you can decide um, if you want to participate. <laughs> and I'm bringing them onto the mat for a bit of a plank, plank row situation, okay? So, um, if your mat is really squishy like mine, you may want to come off the mat. I don't know, I'm gonna see how it goes and I may put my weights on the floor. Like we did yesterday, elbows east and west, Shine your elbows out to the east and west side of the room and then rotate so they're looking back. Notice how that feels for the shoulders. Give me two more of those. Inhale, east and west. That doesn't even feel good. Exhale. That's for me really feels like a better fit. One more. Rotate. Come back. Elbows are looking back. Come into either a modified plank or a plank like this and hold here. Give your tush a squeeze. Hold eight, seven, six, five, four, elbows back, three, two, one. Knees down, take a break. Inhale, exhale. Come on back. Um, my hands are moving in just a little bit closer, so they're maybe slightly less wide than my shoulders. I'm gonna extend only the left leg. I'm sorry, I'm gonna start with the right, just so you can see what's going on. Right leg extended, left elbow right by my side. Nice, straight spine. Lower the arm. When you lift it up, lift the right leg with it. Lower, left. Lower, lift, energize the spine. Eight, seven, six, right leg is straight. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, let's just take a break for a minute. Inhale, side two. Side two, left leg out. Equalize or even out your shoulders and your hips. Left elbow is gonna come right by your ribs. Lengthen out your spine, belly is in. Lower, pick up that left leg. If you don't like the way it feels to lift the elbow and the leg at the same time, you can do opposite here, that's totally fine. Um, you could try that. I like this better, personally. Six more. Six. And five. Four. Three. Two. One. Come all the way down. And come on up. 
Let's reach the arms up to the sides. Feet together. Press your pubic bone forward. Draw the abdominals in. Exhale, twist in one direction. Look at your back hand. Exhale. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Or the opposite way. One more each way. Shoulders are down. Inhale, center. Other side. Come back. Lower down. Roll your shoulders around. Take a nice deep breath. Let's come onto our sides here. Um, come onto your right side. I'm going to grab my five only. Only my five. Okay, onto the right side and do a little bit of this situation. Knees bent. We can do a little bit more rotator work. Just a quick spine check in, okay? Head back. Imagine that you're back against a wall. I'm going to grab this five pound weight. Shoulder down, belly is in. And reach up. Let's do 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Ooh, and one. And then put that weight down for just a sec. Prop yourself up on your right forearm, if you're on your right side, if not, your left. Um, pretty important, elbow under shoulder, elbow under shoulder, okay? If your elbow's out there, the shoulder's not really going to be able to connect as well, okay? So try to either do a flat palm down to the ground, you can make a little fist too. Knees are back. It's like you want to make the front part of your body straight-ish. Drive the elbow down, let's do arm up, hips up. Pull your head back, your chin in, double chin yourself just for fun. Hold here for five, four, three, two, one more. All the way down. Let's go back. Knees bent, up against a wall. Grab your weight. You're, you're welcome to go up in weight. I'm gonna stick with my five. 10 more here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one more. Goodbye, wait. Let's come up here again. Elbow on the shoulder. Knees come away. We're in the home stretch, you guys. Nice long line through the front, arm to the ceiling. Can you plug both shoulders in? Head back, belly in. Eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come all the way down. We're going right into a stretch here. Make sure you have enough room. Um, lie down on your side with your right arm or your bottom arm forward. And then open your back towards the wall behind you. And breathe. One more deep breath. And then roll around, push yourself up. Let's go on to the other side. Do the other side. Okay, grab your weight, straighten out that spine a bit. Imagine you're back against a wall. 
and 10 with the top arm, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come all the way down, put your weight off to the side. Prop yourself up, shoulder, sorry, elbow on your shoulder, knees slide away, lift, like, like press the chest forward, pull your chin in, and then plug your shoulders in as you lift your hips. And breathe. Eight, seven, down. Let's go back. Grab one more rotator set here. Straighten out your spine. And we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Elbow close to the ribs. 4, 3, 2, and one. Throw that weight off. Last set here. Slide your knees away. Pull the elbow underneath the shoulder. Press your chest and your hips forward a little bit. Belly button is in. Reach up. Plug the shoulders in, especially that bottom one. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Come all the way down. And let's grab our delicious stretch. Knees to one side, eyes to the other. Breathe. One more deep breath. And then roll back to the side and come up to sit. Okay, come up to stand. Come on up to stand. One last little stretch for the legs before you're free. I'm going to grab my chair one more time. And we're going to have a seat right on the edge. Okay, um, and just listen to your knees during this. If anything's a little glitchy, just leave this out. I'm gonna cross first the right leg over the left. I'm gonna keep this foot flexed a little bit, my right foot. Sit up nice and tall, and then just lean forward a little bit, and you'll feel a nice lengthening throughout the whole right side of the leg. And if you want to drape yourself even further forward, like slowly, I feel like I have more stretch in me as I'm here. One more deep breath here. And then we're going to bring this leg down. I'm going to um, keep the left leg where it is, but straighten the right leg out to make sure you're really supported by your chair. And then I'm just going to stretch forward, length, stretch, getting that stretch down the whole back of the right leg.
and then come up to sit. Slide the right leg in, pull the left leg over. And you can flex this left foot and then sit up tall, lean forward. One more deep breath here. Come all the way up. And then straighten out the left. Sit up nice and tall. And then kind of dive forward with a straight-ish spine. And you can reach far as far forward with your left arm as you can. Some people have a deeper stretch when they soften the knee rather than straightening it. Like for some people, when they straighten their leg, they only feel it behind the knee. So do a little investigative work there between either straightening the leg or keeping the knee soft. One more deep breath here. And then come all the way up to sit. We did it. Have a great day, you guys. Please be good to yourselves. Drink your water.